Hey guys, it's your boy Poison Fang slash PF Chang coming at you with another vlog. This would be my third vlog that I've made. Um, so, first off, I just wanted to say, how's your day going, guys? Is it going alright? Like, you guys are at work and you happen to be on break. How's work going? If not good, then I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. But I can relate. Um, another thing would be, like, it's 1017, so for any of my younger viewers, if I have any, how's school going? I mean, you getting your good grades, you getting good grades on tests, you learn anything new. If so, then that's wonderful. I'm glad. So, um, I guess if I haven't talked about it already, uh, Evil Con is done with. Uh, so is my vacation. Um, Evil Con was great, and I got to have a lot of fun over there. After that vacation, I went down to Fort Walton, Florida, which is like, technically, if you look on a map, you see the little peninsula, and then you see like this little panhandle. It's literally like a panhandle at the end of it. That's where I was. Um, pretty much my dad took his baseball team. They go every spring break. And they go to Fort Walton, Florida every time. Luckily, me and mom are, the coach, are one of the coach's families. So we're able to go. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take Landon or Bethany with me, so. Oh, well, there's one negative to so many positives. Uh, we had fun. I went shopping with Mom. Um, didn't get to go parasailing like we were planning. But, we did go mini-golfing. As per usual, that we do every time we go on vacation. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't win again. I never win mini golf. I tell you that much right now. Never win. Dad usually wins, usually because of like pro golfer past of his. So, usually I expect him to win. Unfortunately, actually, fortunately this time. Mom got three hole-in-ones in a row on the last three holes. So, bam, she won, actually. I was getting a little ticked off because I hadn't even gotten one hole-in-one yet. Until the last hole. I got a hole-in-one. Which earned me a 4D movie experience at the place. Which, you know, it, they're kids' movies. So I'm fine with just letting... I went ahead and gave mine to uh, one of my cousins. Let them have it. Me and Mom both got a hole-in-one, so we both won the 4D movie experience. So that means two of my cousin's kids are going to be able to go and enjoy that. But as soon as they were kids' movies, yeah. So, uh, that was done. Um, shopping was pretty okay. I mean, me and Mom went to, you know, the Goodwill like we usually do. We, uh, we went to Target. I was looking for my video game that I wanted so badly, which was Attack on Titan 2 for the Nintendo Switch. I have to say, that game is very good. It really is. Like, 
I mean, I ha of course I got Attack on Titan one on the uh, Xbox One. The mechanics on it were great. I mean, it was pretty good on the graphics, the mechanics. They were easy to learn, and uh, of course, on the first one you played as Aaron, Mikasa, um, Armin, Levi, and all that. But for this one, and sorry, but spoilers, if you don't want to hear them, then you might want to get off this vlog now. I'll go ahead and put it on the... Uh, in the description and also on the title vlog 3 warning spoilers for Attack on Titan 2 so spoilers spoiler alert um, for Attack on Titan 2 you actually get to make your own character and then uh, and then I feel like the choices you make impact yeah yeah the choices you make actually impact the story um, and that well it doesn't really impact the story much it just impacts like your friendship levels with your comrades unfortunately <laughs> the two comrades that you're most familiar with they die another spoiler I'm sorry it's uh, Mina and Thomas those are your two comrades that you're most close that you're the closest with of course I didn't really want those two sorry to say but I mean, yeah, they're nice, but I'm actually trying to cozy up with Aaron, Mikasa, um, and Armin. So that's, I mean, I'm not really full on that much in the story yet for number two, where the anime starts. They actually go through quite a bit of, um, like the last chapter of season one they go through that first but I actually have to relive the whole thing from when I was in the cadets the cadet corp with Aaron and them I actually have to redo all of it but I believe that they are that they are speeding up the last chapter or should I say, all of season one? That way, because it's just a recap. It's just a recap. That's it. I mean, so I'm really hoping that the rest of this game can like speed up. That way, I can go to season two really quickly because I actually want to live in that season two. I want to see what that. Beast Titan looks like in high definition graphics. It's gonna be great. Um, but yes, I had to go through <laughs> like three different stores just to find my Attack on Titan 2 game. Um, that was. I, I feel like my mom wanted to kill me after that one. She wanted to just wring my neck. But I'm like, I'm sorry, it's not my fault that these people don't carry my fucking game. I'm sorry. She's like, whatever. <sighs> and I have to say, I've never tried gelato before. Yes, it's random, but it's going on to my next point. Because during that shopping with me, mom, and dad, we uh, we went to a strip mall. If some of you that don't know what a strip mall is, it's basically a long strip of building, but 
it's divided into different stores. And that's why they call it a strip mall. Because of the long strip of building. But with different stores. So yeah, that's out of the way. Um, oh, sorry. Something's in my eye. So we went there. We, uh, we went shopping like quite a few hours. Um, next, I mean, we went to all sorts of stores. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to the Disney store like I usually go to on vacation. And that's fine. I mean, I didn't really mind it. Although, we did go to Auntie Anne's Pretzels. Got me two cups of pretzel bites. One was regular salted and one cinnamon. Um... We also went to the gelato place. And that's the thing, I had never tasted gelato before. So I was like, I mean, it's worth looking into. I have to say, I mean, it's like it's a little bit... I don't know if it's creamier than ice cream, or if it's sort of lighter on the stomach. I don't know what it is about gelato that's different. I think it's mostly just creamier than regular ice cream. Now, heavier might be the more correct term. It is a little heavier. So if you're looking for a heavy dessert, definitely go for some gelato, because I have to say I was I was like almost over full by the time I finished the pretzels. Uh, so we had fun I mean of course yeah kind of rude of us but we didn't go to any of dad's baseball games sorry uh, usually I get pretty bored at baseball games so usually I want to bring my Switch or my 3DS or something of that nature. Um, other than that, there's nothing really else to tell about the trip. I mean, it was a pretty normal trip. So that's out of the way. Um, now... Oh yeah, uh, this past, uh, yesterday, the 10th, uh, no it's not the 10th, it's the 11th, okay, today's the 12th, okay, so yesterday the 11th was me and Bethany's 10 month anniversary, I'm getting really excited now because two more months and she will be the longest relationship I ever have. So I'm really, really looking forward to having this relationship be my longest and hopefully my last relationship in life. I'm really hoping for that because Look, I know how we all have our issues. We all have either like anxiety issues, depression issues, um, paranoia, paranoia issues. I know, and well, I'm not saying that I can sympathize with all of you because I, I know I can't because I know that some people's depression some people's depression is worse than mine some people's All right. sorry just my hat's kind of OCD right now um, but yes I know I can't sympathize with all the people I know that your depression levels are probably worse than mine. 
uh, I can't even comprehend what you guys are probably going through. And I'm sorry that you all have to go through that. And for all of you with anxiety, I can't sympathize with all of you. I know I can't. But paranoia, I feel like I could. That's the one issue that I feel might actually hurt my relationship with Bethany. And, you know, for the first time in all the relationships I've had, I'm not saying I've had a lot, just for the past few relationships that I've had that were quote unquote real, as far as I knew before they fucked me over, those times I got fucked over, it, it fucked me up bad. I am a very fucked up individual and I have trust issues out the ass right now. The fact that the fact that my trust issues are so bad and my paranoia causes me to have nightmares about my girlfriend cheating on me. I know I'm getting into personal issues, but you know, that's what a vlog is about. But, um, I know that having trust issues is not the best to have in a relationship nor is paranoia that causes nightmares of your girlfriend or boyfriend cheating on you all the time. I hate it. It literally makes me miserable. I wish I could make it go away. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. I don't know if the fact of me asking her to marry me would do the trick to actually get rid of the thoughts, the nightmares, and the misery. I really hope it does. But for all of you going through issues like that, I hope you found the right person that deals with, that is able to remind you of your worth, even at your worst moments. I really hope that that's the case because everyone needs a person like that. Everyone does. Thankfully, I think I found mine. She is literally one of the best things that's ever happened to me. She constantly reminds me of my worth every time that I start talking about my issues and how I hate them and want them to go away. I don't know why it is, but she's always there to help me out when I need it and I'm so very glad to have someone like her in my life and you know if I proposed to her I believe she would deserve to have it I believe she would deserve to have a ring come from me because she, out of all the girls 
who have fucked me over and cheated on me I would say that Bethany has earned my trust my love she's earned everything from me and Bethany if you watch this I want you to know that I love you very much and I thank you each and every day for helping me out with these issues and trying to comfort me to where my issues go away. And I love you very much. Again. <laughs> so let's get off the serious subject because I'm I don't always like the serious subjects. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are hearing a um, a slight uh, noise, that's actually my that's my dog. He's uh he's asleep right now. He must be having a he must be having a weird dream or something. <laughs> so um, now to talk about like future things, like what's coming up and how excited I am what I think is going to happen well um, Bethany's birthday is actually going to be on Monday she is uh, going to be turning 22 this year and then my birthday is actually in 16 days and I'll be turning 23 so I mean, I'm not really all ex all that excited about it. I mean, it's just a year older for me. I mean, uh, I, mean I don't really care for the fact that I'm getting older. That just means that I'm going to have to you know start acting a little bit more my age when it comes to like school and um, I'm starting to think about like the important things like possible marriage later on um, the fact of I the day that I move out and start my own life yeah that's gonna be fun for uh, for any of you who are like in your teens be thankful right now because you may not want to live with your parents right now but if you think about it they're the only ticket you have of free rent free rent, no bills being paid, nothing. Because right now I have to pay bills to my parents. I don't pay rent, but I do pay for like my car, like partial insurance for me. I mean, I gotta I'm I'm helping them out by paying some of my shit. So uh you know back to back to whatever. Okay, so OMG Con is gonna be in June, of course. June eighth to the tenth, which I kinda feel bad because you know June eighth is my mother's birthday. And I'm not going to be there at home to celebrate with her. So I have decided, hopefully, that I will just, you know, keep myself away from uh, both Bethany and Landon that week. Because, you know, 
I want to spend that. I know that I'm only going to get that one day off out of the whole week before I get that weekend off. And I want to be able to spend that time with my mother. Because, you know, I know for a fact that dad's most likely going to be at work. Because, you know, me and him don't get the summers off like mom does. So, I'm hoping that, you know, I can spend that one day of the week that I'm off with mom. Let her know that I care about her and I want to spend that time with her on her, for her birthday. Uh, another thing being that there's going to be some big, big fun going on over at OMG Con. Oof. That was weird. Okay, freaking yawn turned into a burp. Alright. So, as I was saying, OMG Con is going to have big, big fun. I would really sincerely be appreciative if any of you guys are able to come to OMG Con because I would like to have your support this big big fun <laughs> um, don't worry for the people who let's just say for any of you who like to have that big big fun if you come to OMGCon you'll find out what I'm talking about Um, so, pretty much, most likely, <sighs> sorry, I'm so kind of tired from getting up at like 7.20 this morning, so I could drop mom's car off at the auto shop. Okay, um, so yes, big, big fun, gonna probably get me another sword from the vendor room in there. I mean, for the one time that I don't get a sword, I mean, I do try to get other things instead. Hmm. Of course, being the fact that there is another convention that I want to go to this year, of course, it's not until like November 31st to December 2nd so I do have time to think of it and get ready for it of course OCD kinda tells me oh hey six months from now equals six weeks from now that's how my parent that's how my OCD goes when it comes to cosplay and conventions I like to have things done early because months can go by that fast, almost like weeks, if you don't pay attention. That's why I try my best to have. Okay. That's why I try my best to have things ready and done. I've even started up a little um, jar in my room that I usually take money out of my checks each, every two weeks. And every time I do that, I try my best to, you know, um, save it up, don't touch it at all. So far, I am in the um, 300s right now. Soon enough, that thing's going to drastically go down because I am using a lot of it. Eh. I'm going to be using a lot of it to uh, get certain things. Like, I'm taking $100 out of that 
so that way I can <laughs> that way I can you know have stuff for OMGCon and be able to buy things unfortunately I might actually um, well fortunate for me later but I might actually cut down on the um, funds that I'm going to be taking with me to OMG. I might actually take only $80 instead of 100 this time. I mean, I only take 100 only because of the swords. And I'm like, oh my god, why are you honestly trying to have a sword go for this much on price? It's like, are you trying to do highway robbery right now? Uh, just if any of you plan to go to OMG Con, make sure you take a lot of extra money for vendor room costs. Because that shit is a bitch. Like, literally. All that is a bitch. It's like a major slap up the bitch side of the face. <laughs> like every time. I mean, it's a good thing that they have two different um, sword booths. So definitely, if you don't want to find the one that's right on your stomach, can you shut up, please? I know you're hungry. And we'll go get food after this video. Jesus. Okay. What I was saying is, there's two different ones for swords. Two different sword booths. Okay. There's the one over here that's going to be on your right as soon as you get in the door. Like, if you keep going straight after you enter the room, there's going to be a sword booth on your right. Or as far as I know, that's how it's always been every time I went to OMG. Or, if you go in the door, take a left, and then go, and then take a right after that, you'll see another freaking um, sword booth. And those swords are actually a little bit cheaper. So you might want to think about that if you're wanting to get a sword. Or should I say if you're a sewer a sword enthusiast like I am. So, yeah. It, I mean, I feel like it's going to be great. I mean, I'm going to have my best buddy that I've had for 13 years. Yes, if you are wondering, I'm talking about Landon right now. Um, I mean, I literally cannot believe how long me and Landon have been friends. And to see it as 13 years, it's going to be great. At least I know that that's one friend that I can count on for the rest of my life. And that that's one friend that I can see myself sitting at a diner, or probably sitting at like GD Ritzy's, or <clears throat> sitting at like our house one of our houses and both of us are still recording videos like we're still streaming video games and it's like I can still see us doing that even in our old age like in our 50s and 60s we could still be on air doing the same old thing me still raging out well, maybe not raging out as much, but probably saying the same cuss words and everything. Being like, you shit bag of nipples! Ugh. But yeah, I can, I can see that. And it's fun when you can actually imagine it in your mind. Like, it's absolutely wonderful. And, you know, I, I couldn't ask for a better friend.
and you know also like younger brother yeah he's only like a year younger than me and uh, a month from Monday will be his birthday I know he doesn't like to put out personal information so that's all I'm, that I'm saying about him is that his birthday that's it uh, okay <laughs> had to think really quick but yes there's the uh, there's the other convention that I was talking about in um, in November December it's actually going to be in Louisville the Louisville Supercon. I'm actually hoping that I can have my friend, me, Bethany, Stephanie, her, pretty much her uh, best friend and pretty much sister, like they're that close. Um, and then Landon, my f best friend and pretty much younger brother. I'm actually hoping that all four of us can go to that convention because I had actually just now heard of it, and like a little while ago. And um, once I talked about it to Bethany, she said that Stephanie actually wanted to go to something like that. I'm like, okay, that's fine. We can all four go. And so I talked to Lane about it yesterday, and he said that it's pretty far away, so. I'll have to see if there's anything going on around that time. I'm like, sure. But just so you know, that uh, I would hope that there's nothing going on because 31st of November to 2nd of December, I doubt that there's anything going on within that time frame. So, that's what I'm going to do, but here's the catch I'm not fucking driving three hours there and three hours back hell no if I do that then I'm crazy if anyone does that I hope you have enough money to pay for all that gas so what I am planning is that we all spend the night up there or over there instead of actually coming back you know if it's Evansville then you know that's fine that's fine and dandy but you're talking about one and a half to three hours away yeah I know that's kind of a big time difference as far as I know it's about one and a half to two hours but it might be three hours depending on the traffic so Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying, and I don't want to drive that much back, especially that's going to be hard on my gas money, like bad. So that's, that's my decision, that's what I want to do. Unfortunately, there's a catch with that, with trying to spend the night over there. For one, I'm not going to say who, but let's just say that it's going to be hard for me and Bethany to stay up there and stay overnight because of a certain somebody. Um, so... Pretty much because of the certain somebody, it's going to be hard for me and her to do that, and I think it's absolutely ridiculous. She spent the night over at my house before, so I don't know what the difference is now. Um, but I believe I can make that work. So... Pretty much, I'm just going to go ahead and say that we're able to go. So, I just hope I have enough money saved up. Because, pretty much, it's every 
two weeks that I get paid. So if I take twenty dollars out each check and some checks some months I get paid three times a month. Damn, I'm gonna have to do some calculations later. Okay, well, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys right now. And, you know, I don't know why, but talking it out like this, talking everything out to you guys, and actually seeing that there's views on my videos, it actually makes me really, really happy to see that my videos are actually doing decently and that people actually are interested in my videos and you know for all the people who have subscribed to me so far thank you guys for actually taking the time to spend with me to actually watch my videos Thank you for spending the time to actually watch me on camera doing all this for you guys and you know hopefully I can do more than just vlogs for when I'm alone I hope that I can actually do like let's plays for you guys and all that um, You know, hopefully that maybe I can even do some Pokemon randomized Nuzlocks for you guys, like we do on, like me and Landon do on Twitch. Which, uh, I am going to go ahead and let you know, I'm going to go ahead and put down in the description of his Twitch channel if you ever want to watch. Um... Of course, you'll see me on there as well. So, there you go on that. Um, another thing, I just want to say that I'm thankful to you guys that are subscribed to me. And for any future subscribers, thank you as well for taking the time to be interested in my videos. It actually brings a really big smile to my face. And it shows me that I've accomplished something. So, you know, I, so recap that I just, I'm hoping that any of one of you who are interested in going to any of the conventions that I've named so far, like OMG Con or the Louisville Super Con. I hope that you guys want to go and I hope I see you there. It would be very nice to know that people actually care for cosplay and conventions and all that. So, without further ado, that's all I have time for because I gotta get me some food. I'm starving. So, I love you all. You guys are beautiful people, every single one of you. I hope all of you are doing, having a great day. So, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.